Cypher Cloud's actionable CASB integrates with Juniper SRX by interrogating and aggregating log files so that users' access to clouds, including shadow IT activity, is discovered, cataloged, clouds are risk rated, and various user metrics are reported on, including level of activity or traffic a user or group of users is interacting with a cloud and also allows you to risk rate clouds based on your organization's risk profile. The first step in, in integrating the two products is accessing Juniper logs. So there's two ways to bring logs into our cloud discovery tool. One way is to do a one-time import of logs, in which case you can take a log file, import it, map the format of that log to the required fields for cloud discovery, and that will allow you to bring those logs into the product and get them processed for shadow IT discovery. The other way you can do this is by setting up a log agent and establishing continuous processing of Juniper logs. You can again establish the format mapping and then determine how you want the logs to be consumed either via a spooling directory, TCP, or UDP. Once your logs are processed, CypherCloud's platform will analyze all the log data and show you activities including high, low, and medium for user activity the number of clouds discovered, including those that are high risk, uh, low risk, and medium risk, and also uh, rank users by high, low, and medium risk. It'll also show you the top 10 clouds with the highest activity and the, the clouds with the highest user counts. Within the Shadow IT Discovery tool, you'll be able to filter based on risk. For instance, just look at high risk clouds or based on cloud type, just looking at, let's say, clouds that are categorized as consumer clouds that users are accessing, or by the category of cloud. So for instance, if you just wanted to look at cloud storage clouds, you could see just the user activity associated with those types of clouds. And then of course, you could look at those specific clouds and you could compare risk ratings for them. In addition, it shows you activity for sanctioned clouds. So here you can see this particular organization has already set up and is using Cypher Cloud to protect Box and Dropbox, which are uh, sanctioned clouds in this organization. But they've also found a number of unsanctioned clouds. And here we can drill down on those that particular cloud. We can see that it's very risky. It has a risk score of nine. We can look at the weighting for all the different categories of risk. We can drill into those attributes for risk and see that first in the security category, this particular cloud has a login page security issue. And you can also see that this particular cloud doesn't provide any details about business continuity, whether or not they encrypt data at rest or what their procedures are for disaster recovery. In addition to looking at cloud risk, you can also look at user activity. So you can rank users by the amount of traffic. So you can certainly sort by the traffic. You can drill down on specific users. You can change the time frame that you're uh, looking at user activity. And you can also port on your overall shadow IT activity by generating a shadow IT report for the whole organization. This report will give you a risk overview, the percentage of clouds that are ranked high risk. It'll give you some recommendations. It will show you in an executive summary, a dashboard of clouds, high risk clouds, users, the number of high risk users, clouds rankings by uh, the top 10 high risk clouds by both user count and activity. Show you the overall top 10 clouds. We'll actually give you uh, details on usage by cloud category. And then we'll also give you a very nice chart showing you category risk. And we'll give you a sense of based on the number of users, which clouds are most used by users that have the highest risk score. So here you can see by far the highest risk cloud with a large number of users is in the business management category. And then it gives you a detailed table giving you a breakdown in all those categories, what the average risk score is, the number of apps in that category uh, that users used, and the highest and lowest risk scores. So that's a short overview of our integration with Juniper SRX. Thanks a lot.